Hello everyone, I am Dr. Eric Morrison. This is 7 out of 3, and I'll be covering trading education, more specifically Forex swing trading, using the TC2000 platform. This is the Forex holiday review for the past two weeks for Christmas and New Year's. I'm going to start off with the Aussie dollar Canadian dollar. As you can see here, there was no trade. Uh, we had an, our first initial trade here on Wednesday and then closed out on Friday. The next following week during New Year's, no trade until Thursday. Closed out with a nice gain. We're 1 2 out. Aussie dollar Swiss franc had initial trade here, then out for a loss here. Nice 1 2 3 to end out for Christmas. Initial trade here, out for a loss, and no tr further trade the rest of the week. Aussie dollar Japanese yen. Initial trade here. Out for a nice one two three punch out. Then we had a one two three punch out in the other direction. Close out the week overall gain, and then no further trade because we had a week long here uh, this week during New Year's. Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar. Initial trade here on Tuesday, out for a loss. Initial trade here, out for a loss. Then on Sunday, nice one two three punch out. No further trade the rest of the week. Aussie dollar, US dollar. Initial trade here, out for a nice one two three punch out. Beautiful one two three punch out during Christmas. And no further trade the rest of the year for Aussie dollar, US dollar. Week long here, all below the RL10. Canadian dollar, Swiss franc, a uh, week short. First initial trade here, out for a loss. Initial trade here, out for a loss. No further trade Christmas week. And on Sunday, first trade here, out for a loss. And no further trade the rest of the week. Canadian dollar, Japanese yen. This is already in alignment. Then we had a nice, beautiful 1, 2, 3 punch out. And no further trade the rest of the week. You can get above the RL10. Hakenashi and not in agreement. So this Frank Japanese yen. Initial trade here out for a loss and a nice one two three punch out. Uh, no trade here. Initial trade here out for a nice one two three Friday for Swiss Frank Japanese yen. Euro Aussie dollar. One two out at the two hundred and a beautiful one two three punch out going in the other direction. No further trade the rest of the week during New Year's. Aussie dollar. Initial trade here out for a loss then a nice one two three punch out and then a nice one two for euro canadian dollar during new year's euro british pound initial trade here out for a loss then a beautiful one two three punch out and then no further trade during new year's week short all above the rl10 euro japanese yen initial trade here out for a loss then a beautiful one two three punch out initial trade here for a nice one two three punch out even though it was a still had an overall gainer for this particular pair. No further trade the rest of the week. Here on the Zealand dollar. Uh, initial trade here. Out for a loss during Christmas week. Then a beautiful one, two, three punch out. Initial trade here. Out for a loss. And no further trade the rest of the week. Euro US dollar. Initial trade here. Out for a loss. Initial trade here. Out for a loss. Small losses. Initial trade here. Out for a loss during New Year's week. No further trade the rest of the week. British pound Aussie dollar. Initial trade here out for a loss. Initial trade here for a loss. And another trade here for a nice one, two, three punch out. British pound Canadian dollar, week long. As you can see here, no trade. Uh, we did have a trade on Thursday and out for a loss on Friday. Initial trade here out for a loss. No further trade the rest of the week. British pound Swiss franc, nice one, two, three punch out. Then in the other direction, one, two, three punch out. Beautiful during Christmas. And then no further trade the rest of the week. Not in, I can actually not in agreement. British pound. Japanese yen, initial trade here, nice one, two, three punch out, and then the other direction, one, two, three punch out. Great Christmas week there. Another trade on Sunday for a nice one, two, three punch out. No further trade the rest of the week, but we did get a gainer on this one, two, three. First pound New Zealand dollar, nice one, two, three punch out. Then on Monday, uh, loss here, one, two out here for a loss, and then another one in a scratch here for British pound New Zealand dollar. British pound US dollar. Nice one two three punch out, then a one two three punch out on Christmas week. Then another one two three punch out during New Year's week and no further trade the rest of the week. New Zealand Canadian dollar. No trade. I can actually not an agreement. Initial trade here, nice one two three punch out for a gain. Then initial trade here for a loss. No trade here. I can actually not an agreement. The body is not above the RL ten. Beautiful one two out for New Year's. New Zealand Canadian dollar. New Zealand Swiss franc. <coughs> no trade here. Initial trade here for a 1, 2, 3 punch out. You can use the R, RL90 as a potential target. So overall gain for, for the trade. Then another 1, 2, and then this one was, oh, this was Friday. No trade here. Initial trade here out for a loss. Another trade here for out for a loss. 
No further trades the rest of the week. Zealand Japanese Yen. No trade here. Beautiful. One, two, three, punch out. No further trade the rest of the week. Zealand US dollar. Initial trade here out for a scratch. And then beautiful. One, two, three, punch out. Initial trade here during New Year's. Out for a loss here on New Year's. No further trade the rest of the week. US Canadian dollar. No trade here. I can actually now an agreement with RL10. Look like an emerging dragon. Very weak long here, as you can see. But emerging dragon nonetheless, but it was failed. We did have a break in data from FXCM. So you may want to be very particular in who you choose in terms of your broker and their data. Initial trade here, nice one, two, three punch out. No further trade the rest of the week. US dollar Swiss franc, very choppy at the beginning. Looked like a collapsing dragon, then eventually did a collapsing dragon. A very choppy here at the 200. Moving day average. Initial trade here out for a loss. Initial trade here. Nice one, two, three punch out. No further trade the rest of the week. Oh, there was a trade here on Thursday out on New Year's Eve for a nice. US dollar Japanese yen. Initial trade here out for a loss. Then a nice one, two, three punch out. And no further trade the rest of the week. So this is both Christmas Eve week or Christmas week and New Year's week. Looking at silver, still hovering around there, but gaining ground. Ooh, beautiful fry pan bottom. Could have potential to the upside. And we do have potential pinch here. Not a super pinch because we got the 200 above the Z3s on the pinch. Same thing with gold. Ooh, nice fry pan bottom. So we might have a nice boost to the upside. Potential target for next week is 1840. An ounce for gold. And that it coincides with potential inflation area pressures that are happening in the U.S. Nice fry pan bottom though here. Well, folks, that's all I have for the Forex holiday and review for both Christmas and New Year's. We're currently conducting a Forex boot camp, a Forex intermediate course, and a Forex advanced course where we're doing programming in Python and in PineScript. If you're interested, click on the links below. And remember, ruthless risk management. Happy New Year, everybody, and I'll see you on Sunday. Well, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button below and the subscribe button. And if you want more information on TC2000, I have an affiliate link below. If you open up a TC2000 account, you will receive a $25 discount using that link. Thank you for your time.